Hello and welcome everyone. This is Paras and thanks for joining in. As a part of Paras Analytics series, this is the next edition of Base SaaS where we are going to cover data massaging and data cleaning. In the previous video, we covered how to merge two or more data sets. Here we are going to cover data massaging and data cleaning where we are going to show a few methods how to clean and massage SaaS data sets. So some of the methods which which I would be showing over here are as follows. filtering the data by removing the unwanted observations the second one would be reducing the data by dropping the unwanted variables then changing the variable names to a more sensible and professional way the fourth one would be adding the labels to the variables and the last one would be formatting the variables we will be discussing each of the above ways with an example okay so let's directly jump to our saas software where we are going to show how each of the our method So this kind of data set which you see which you see here data set main you have seen in many of my previous videos so here also i am trying to create a main data set uh, with with here we are creating with five variables x y z u v then we are giving three observations like 3 10 20 30 3 2000 5 then 50 60 70 and like that so let's first create this data set Okay, so you can see we have a total of three rows and five columns. The column names are X, Y, Z, U, and V, and there are three observations. Okay, so this looks to be a very much raw data like X, Y, Z, U, V, X, Z. What is what is it? We are not aware about. So first thing we can do is we can we can go to the proc contents and see what this data set says. in the alphabetic list of variables and attributes you can see over just three things variable type and length variable where we have a list of variables type is all our numbers and the length of each of is 8 so there are only three attributes we can see over here as of now okay And if you do just a proc print of this data set, uh, this will simply show the similar result of the main data set. Okay, this is showing just uh, we have five uh, variables and three observations. Okay. So first thing, suppose if we want to uh, we want to see specific observations in in our data set. so we we can simply filter out what those specific observations are and this can be done in two ways the first is the data step and the second one is a proc step in the data step we can use the if statement uh, where we can filter out uh, suppose if we are looking for all the observations having uh, x equal to 10 so what we can do is we can create a new data set data filter underscore clean we will we'll use a set statement with the main and we'll just filter out if x is equal to 10 let's do that okay so it will just filter out all the observations where x is equal to 10 so if we if we print the main data set it will show all the all the day all the observations if we print the filter underscore clean then it will show only two observations so here what we have done here we have created a new data set filter underscore clean suppose if we, instead of creating a new data set if we just want to filter out the data we can use a proc step like proc print and instead of if we can use the where statement so like proc print data equal to main where x is equal to 10 and run so this will simply filter out and show the result where x is equal to 10 okay you can see the result over here x equal to 10 and y z u v r is shown over here so here another new data set has been created 
But if we, for some specific reason we want a new data set, we have to use a data data step like this one. So the first, in the in the previous example, we we wanted to filter out few of the observation. Suppose if we want to remove few of the variables, then we and then I am trying to show you a new uh, statement called keep. So we can reduce the number of variables by using the keep statement. So uh, so like there are x y z u v were there, and if we don't want the z. Variable, then we can simply use the keep statement keep x, y, u, and v, and this is the syntax for the same. Let's create this data set. Okay, so in this new data set, you can see x, y, u, and v have been created, uh, but z is not there. So if we simply uh, do a proc print of this particular data set, you will be able to see. All the observations, but with only four variables instead of five. There is another way to do the same. Instead of using the keep, we can use a drop statement. So if we don't want to see uh, x variable over here from the main data set, we can simply use drop x. In the earlier example, we were uh, we were not uh, we were not looking for z. So we we simply remove z by using the keep statement and not not keeping it in, in the keep statement. But here we are not uh, we are now we are trying to drop the x variable and all the variables will now be displayed like instead of apart from the x variable. So we have y, z, u, and t. Okay. So if we do simply a proc print, it will show. All the variables is but x, right? In the next example, what I am trying to show is uh, let's uh, rename all the variables by some sensible name which looks professional and which can be used by other person and can be uh, understood what it means. So suppose x like we have x y z u v. It doesn't make any sense. What is x? What is y? Y? What is z? What is u? What is v? So if we rename with some sensible names, then it will make more sense. So here, what we do, we use the rename statement in the data set, data step, and uh, we simply use rename x equal to whatever the name we want to give. Then without any comma, without anything, simply y equal to. Uh, then z, z equal to u equal to and we, here I am giving depart g p t underscore id then e m p underscore id then we have job underscore code and u equal to month and v equal to year. Let's create this data set. Okay, so now you can see uh, data set has been created, but the variable names has been changed and these looks more sensible, more professional. Like DPT underscore ID, EMP underscore ID, job underscore code, month and year. And if we see the proc contents of this variable, of this data set, then this looks more better, right? Everything is same. It's only the variable names have been changed. Observations are three, variables are five. Data set name. Then the next thing what we will be doing is we will be creating the labels of the same data set clean underscore vars. So we will be using the same data set clean underscore vars where we will be uh, inputting the same variable uh, data set clean underscore vars and use the label statement. Here what we do we we specify the labels of each of the variable. Like DEPT underscore ID equal to in quotes we'll write department. We can write anything whatever it, it refers to. Then we have EMP underscore ID is employee ID. Job underscore code is employee job code. Month equal to month of joining. Year equal to year of joining. So let's create this data set. Okay. 
in the output you won't see any difference in the in in the data set because uh, it, it shows the name of the variable but not name of the labels but if we want to see the proc contents of this particular data set then it will show the label name as well see here a new attribute has been added over here and uh, it's showing all the labels as well besides the variable type and length earlier we have, uh, we have only three attributes now we have four attributes over here and one more thing if we do a proc creep of this particular data set for the month variable then you can see it is showing month of joining this is the label that is being displayed and in the month we have 3 7 and 12 of which frequency and cumulative frequency all the parameters are being displayed over here for month okay the next one what we are using is uh, is the if we are trying to format the variables in the month uh, uh, variable we have given numbers like if you see the result we have numbers month 3 7 and 12 but if we want to specify a specific months then what what can be done instead of changing the values of this we can use the format for the same so for each of the month we have to create the format so we use the proc format where we where the syntax is like this proc format then semicolon then value months this so this months is the name of the format which we are trying to create then for one we are specifying one equal to jan two equal to feb three equal to march four equal to april like like this and till 12 equal to december once we create this particular format we can use this format anywhere in any of the data set and this particular format could be applied over here over there so we have created the format there is no result over here you can see only the log is being displayed over here and the format months is let's try to set the format in in the in the data set clean underscore where's what we what we have to do is uh, we have to use the uh, keyword format in the name of the variable and then the name of the format months so here we had created a format called months and we are using the same format with a dot sign so if we do that so when the data set gets created you can see the values over here as march december sorry july and december so it's it is being displayed March, July, and December. So earlier its value was three, seven, and twelve. Now it is being displayed as March, July, and December. So its internal values is still the same three, seven, and twelve. But for the display purpose, it's being shown like this. Let's see the prop contents of this. Scene. Okay, so let's come down. So here we can see one more attribute has been added in the prop contents which is called formats. Earlier we had four variable type, length and label. Now we have also format in which uh, the name of the format is being displayed months. And this is being displayed against the variable month because this particular format was applied for the variable month. So we have now five attributes. Initially we had only three variable attributes. So this way uh, this data set is making more sense. Now let's uh, try to create a frequency again. Now you can see in the month we, and this and this is getting displayed the name of the month March, July and December and here is the label. So earlier it was 3, 7 and 12. Now we have March, July and December in the frequency. Okay, so that was it for today's session. Hope this added some value uh, uh, to your understanding on on this test. Uh, we'll see you again on in the next edition. Till then, take care and goodbye.